नमस्ते डियर लर्नर्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अवर वीडियो लेसन्स ऑफ बी ए सेकेंड सेमिस्टर ऑप्शनल इंग्लिश पेपर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए पोएम कॉल्ड डोंट कॉल मी इंडो आंग्लियन रिटर्न बाय ए पोएट कॉल्ड सैयद अमानुद्दीन सैयद अमानुद्दीन वॉज बॉर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन मैसूर he is a kannadiga uh, and uh, later on the poet migrates to america and this might be the reason for his poetry uh, to to be a unification of indian clarity and american modernity we see indian clarity in his poetry and at the same time american modernity sayed amanuddin uh, is a poet who blends indian essence and american flavor in his writings his works capture the essence of the human experience like joy happiness love pain suffering and death he has a very distinguished style of writing which resembles to e e cummings style of writing both the both of them introduced the avant-garde style in writing poetry uh, through which they experiment the conventional rules of syntax and punctuation his present poem don't call me indo anglian is the best example which unfolds the liberty to use his syntactic structures his uses of negative words like hodgepodge confusion nullity and abortive unveil he is discussed as he was put in the category of indo anglian men of letters sayyad amanuddin rejects being addressed as an anglo indo anglian uh, in a staccato uh, speech pattern he designates the word indo anglian as a hodgepodge of culture he criticizes the word indo anglian and calls it as a hodgepodge of culture hodgepodge of culture andre sanskrutigala you know hybridity anta kareta which suggests lack of belongingness to either of cultures hodgepodge is nothing but the person is neither here nor there it seems he feels himself illegitimate when somebody assigns him as indo anglian and it's it aborts his identity as an individual Sayyad Amanuddin says that if you call me Indo Anglian my personal identity is lost the complete absence of punctuation in the entire poem shows strongly the urgency to vent out his aggression and frustration or of the repression of anger that he has been undergoing for a long time Sayyad Amanuddin in this poem vehemently rejected his identity as an indo anglian he hated hypons that play as bridges between artificial values in the name of race religion and languages he denounces all pseudo labels and label makers he declared that his writings are not to be a moon rock specimen to be analyzed labeled and stored for another curious gloomy pillow to reanalyze and reclassify and put them back into the cells of the books racks again he said that they called him indo anglian that he did not understand what it exactly mean though he was migrated to america he nostalgically recalls his hometown mysore and its important landmarks like kaveri river chamundi hills 
ಡೇಟಿ ಚಾಮುಂಡಿ ಹೂಸ್ ಲೇನ್ ದ ಡಿಮನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಪೌಂಟನ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಫೈನ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಸೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪ್ಲೋನ್ ಅಕ್ರಾಸ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ವಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟ್ರುತ್ ಬಾಯ್ ನೋವಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಕ್ರೀಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಿಂಡಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಕ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಸ್ಡಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಾರ್ಕ್ ಕೇವ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಿಸ್ಡೈಸ್ ಈವನ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಇಂಡೋ ಆಂಗ್ಲಿಯನ್ ಬಾಯ್ ದ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕನ್ ಮಿಸ್ಫಾರ್ಚ್ಯೂನ್ಡ್ ಪೋಕ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಫೈ ಹಿಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಆಫ್ ರೈಟರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಕ್ಲಾಯಿಸ್ಟರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಪಲ್ಡ್ ದೋ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ರೋಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಕಾಳಿದಾಸ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಬೀರ್ ಹಿ ಕುಡ್ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ವಿತ್ ಡಾಂಟೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಖಯಂ ಆನ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ he could sing the songs with anguish of love with galip or even he could drone with lipo kissing the moon's reflection in the river in fact he was not anglo but he could write in english surely in the language of shakespeare and john keats but uh, his name was categorized as indo anglian which was just confined to a few men of letters he did not digest this type of segregation the poem begins with utter dissatisfaction and disappointment the most remarkable thing in this poem that marks the poet's style is his audacity to challenge the linguistic norms it seems like he exploits them in a rage against their non acceptability it is he does not belong to them then their rules do not belong to him amanuddin presented in his poem don't call me into anglian a clear picture of what he feels about his hybridized identity the sense of loss of belongingness haunts his identity which finds no satisfaction but ends in victorious chant when amanuddin finds his identity as poet his diasporic identity vanishes with the this, this declaration which makes him universal and everywhere when he says i am a poet i have lived 40 centuries under various names i am now amanuddin thus Amanuddin revolts against the conservative ideas of the literary world. Now we will discuss the poem. No, I don't want to be a hodgepodge of culture. The poet says, I I don't want neither to be here nor to be there. I don't want to be part of a hodgepodge of culture. i don't want to be uh, a person of mixed cultures a confusion of language i don't want to be a confusion of language i i i my mother tongue is my language he says a nullity of imagination and about you a pair between an indo and an anglo i hate hyphens he says i hate hyphens the artificial bridges he says the hyphens are the artificial bridges between artificial values in the name of race religion and language i damn all hyphenated minds he also says i reject all hyphenated minds the minds who have built walls around them prejudiced offsprings of undelighted souls such people such hyphenated minds are full of prejudices and they are the sons of unenlightened souls i denounce all labels and label makers he says i reject all the labels which are put on my poor head and I, i also reject all label makers i refuse to be a moon rock specimen he says i don't want to be like a rock i don't want to be uh, like uh, like a rock i don't want to be stagnant like a rock 
to be analyzed labeled and stored i don't want to be analyzed again and again labeled and stored for a curious gloomy fellow to reanalyze reclassify me for selling me again i don't want to be reanalyzed reclassified by another person in the future they call me indo anglian i don't know what they mean they call me indo anglian but i do not know the meaning of that word the poet says he says kaveri flows in my veins nanna naragalalli kaveri hariyuttiddale he says chamundi hills rise in my mind with stars afloat uh, i imagine the chamundi hills standing on the chamundi hills eyes of the goddess smiling on the slain demon brindavana pontons sing in my soul he remembers his hometown mysuru and uh, recollects Uh, the landmarks the geographical landmarks of his hometown but i am not tied down to my childhood see uh, you people when i remember my hometown do not believe that i am nostalgic or i am i am uh, a kind of uh, uh, pitiful he says i have led languages by the, their ears he says i learned many languages of the world like english i have twisted creeds to force the truth out and i have uh, twisted i have uh, changed the creeds according to my own need i have burned candles in the caves of prejudice i spent nights i spent thousands of nights in unearthing the knowledge of the world in unearthing or in giving light giving knowledge to the world which is full of prejudice i have surged in the oceans of being i traveled across the oceans i delved deep into the oceans of knowledge i have flown across the universe on the wings of my thought i traveled all over the world because of my thoughts because of my thinking because of my imagination he says they call me indo anglian the mistaken misformed folk and class me with a small group of writers cloistering me crippling me the label which you put on a particular person cripples him makes him a very uh, his his vastness is reduced the poet says i would rather roam with kalidasa and kabira or go on a spiritual journey with dante i want to read both the indian writers and the western writers and i want to take uh, knowledge from both of them he says meditate with kayam on the mathematics of existence or sing with galib the anguish of love or drone with lipo kissing the moon's reflection in the river i want to read both the indian writers indian thinkers as well the western thinkers they call me indo anglian it's true i write in english they call me indo anglian because i write in english dream in the language of shakespeare and keats i can dream in english he says i can dream in the language of william shakespeare and john keats but i am not an anglo my friend but the poet says i am not an anglo because i am indian he says i am a poet whom who am i i am a poet first i am a poet then you people have labeled me as anglo indian i am just a poet i have lived for 40 centuries under various names i am now amanuddin he says i have i have spent 40 centuries Forty centuries I have spent as a poet, but you people have labeled me as Anglo-Indian poet, Indo-Anglian poet, so on, so on, and so forth. But he says I am nobody. I am not Anglo-Indian. I am not uh, any other thing. But I am Syed Amanuddin, the poet says. Thank you very much.